Is lectin bad for you? Depends. Depends on if you have leaky gut syndrome. If you have leaky gut, then a high lectin diet is a problem. So what I find is lectins are a bigger problem in somebody that already has poor gut health or leaky gut syndrome. Now, the biggest source of lectins is going to be beans and legumes. Those foods are not intended to be eaten raw. They're all cooked and processed and soaked. Now, there are some other foods that have lectins, which is going to be anything with a seed and a skin. But when you remove the seed and the skin, the lectin content goes down significantly. When you cook it, the lectin content goes down significantly. So if you're talking about a raw tomato versus one that's been peeled, seeded, and steamed or stewed, which is what you would use to make marinara sauce, it's got a lower lectin content. When you look at something like a roasted red pepper, which is peeled, seeded, and cooked, it has a much lower lectin content than the raw vegetable itself. So I don't think all lectins are bad. I think we have to look at your gut health to know whether or not we should limit or avoid them.